What's up, Novi? Welcome back to Cultureverse. This is episode six. This is all things Marvel. I'm here with my co-host, Caden. Hello. And uh, we'll get into our first topic. Uh, so our first topic is Fantastic Four and the cast for Fantastic Four. So you you can you can go first. All right, well, for the cast, um, I don't know. I don't want. Listen, I love Pedro Pascal as an actor. Yeah, he's he's the Mandalorian. He was in The Kingsman. He was in The Last of Us, and he's a very great actor. There's no doubt about it. But I do not see him being Mr. Fantastic. So I'm just gonna no. get that out the way. You know, not at all. It's he's, it's interesting. He he's a great actor, but not for Reed Richards. He's just yeah, no. It it doesn't fit visually, and like just him as a person doesn't mm-hmm. really say Mr. Fantastic. I'm I'm willing to be proven wrong, but of course, yeah, hundred percent. But it's just not 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 nah. Mm. So just want to get that out the way first. Because, you know, and I am I know a lot of people share the same opinion as us. Yeah. Because it's a little odd, which is like, I don't know. My whole thing with Marvel is they just always want A-listers. But, like, the difference between them and DC is, like, they're getting people that aren't A-listers. They're getting people that are just, like, fresh kind of acting or, yeah. or just, like, B-list or lower. And I feel like the fact that Marvel wants to do only A-list is the issue. Yeah, I think there's a lot of A-list actors that would be better for the roles anyway. Yeah, but even then, it's just like there's so much talent out there that they're yeah. not even. It seems like they're not even willing to give a chance. Like the casting for uh, what Miss Marvel, like mm-hmm. she was just like a fan that just yeah. went and auditioned, and I think it worked perfectly. It looked like she's yeah, she perfect is Miss Marvel. You know what so, I mean? I mean, they should do that more often for a lot of different roles. I know, like, the Fantastic Four is really big, mm-hmm. and they really wanted to get, like, like big actors for it, but it just doesn't really work with what they did. No, not at all. And, like, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? And that's actually a really good point. Like, she embodies Kamala Khan really well, because Miss Marvel is one of my favorite Marvel characters. Yeah. And... You know, reading her comic, her like most popular comic run in 2016 was so fun. That's what like really got me with the character. It was just really fun seeing like her powers and just her as a character, you know. And if they did that more, the characters would have more of a chance to shine or embody who they are in the comics. Yeah. Is, uh, I think the, um, the, the thing casting is, is cool yeah that's yeah that's a good one and uh the invisible woman casting is cool mm-hmm. but i don't you I don't, don't like know. him in torch i don't i don't really i'll be honest i don't he maybe because i haven't seen him in enough but um the, what, what's the actor's name i'm not sure i forgot what his yeah. name was but uh what eddie from from yeah stranger, yeah, things. stranger things yeah he just doesn't give like he just he just doesn't give like Johnny Storm kind of vibes so I don't know it I'm again I'm willing to be proven wrong but right now the, those two castings the Mr. Fantastic and uh Human Torch castings they just don't really like embody the characters for me I've heard that so it was it was him, the guy that got casted as him, and they wanted one of the, like the the mean brother of Max or, or Maxine or whatever. They also wanted him to be Human Torch or whatever. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. No, but yeah, it's okay. But a lot of people wanted him as like this guy as Human Torch. I didn't. I won't necessarily say I wanted him as Human Torch, but he's. In Stranger Things, he he has proven that he can be like that comedic character. I can say that, and that's that's Human Torch a lot. Like he's he's comedic relief in the in the group. 100%. Yeah, and the fact that he's proven that in Stranger Things kind of gives me hope because you know like he kind of looks like him. He's blonde. That's it. Is he? I think. Right. I don't think. I don't even think he's blonde. He's not. No. I mean, he wasn't in Stranger Things, but like. I don't. I don't think he's blonde. Oh. Well, anyway, yeah. 
he he could do I think he could do a pretty good job. That's coming out next year, right? I have no idea at this point. It was announced in 2020, and like we're just now getting a casting for it. So yeah, I, wow, that's been four years already. Yeah, it's. I want to say 2025. I want to say 2025, that it'll be coming out. There's been, they're saying that Galactus and Silver Sur- Galactic Galactus and maybe Silver Surfer has an involvement in the in the film. Yeah. Um. I know some people are hoping to see Doctor Doom, but I don't. Too think, early. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's really early. That'd be like rushing it, especially since uh, Majors is out as Kang, and they are yeah. trying to make that switch to Doctor Doom, which I'm more okay with because I like Doctor Doom more than Kang, to be honest. Which Jonathan Majors did yeah. great as Kang, I will say. He he did very good as him. Yeah, but. I mean, it's Secret Wars. You know what I mean. So like, yeah. it, it makes more sense. I don't, I don't remember if they're gonna stick with Kang or not. But I know that Doctor Doom at some point will make an appearance. I just hope it's not next year. Yeah. Maybe, maybe end credit. You get like a little teaser. You see his mask or something. You see him picking up the mask, but that's it. Yeah, it would be way too early for Doom. Like they have to, that they have to do absolutely perfectly because. Yeah. <laughs> the the Doom fans will they will be on them if they do, don't do it absolutely perfectly. Yeah, no, I agree. So next year is just not it for that. Yeah. Um, what do you think about maybe seeing Galactus or and Silver Surfer? Even that I feel is too too early. You think so? And like just in like the first Fantastic Four movie, Galactus like. Galactus Galactus. Right. That's like the planet eater. Yeah. And I was seeing um Henry Cavill just got like uh like offered a role for yeah. an upcoming Marvel movie and a lot of people were saying Silver Surfer, so I mean that I might don't want to cool. be Silver Surfer. Because you watch Superhero Squad, right? Yeah. I liked the way Silver Surfer was depicted in a Superhero Squad. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks <laughs> because it's like he's he has so much character in the superhero squad, and I know it's kind of cheesy, but right. I really like it. And Henry Cavill would play like, you know, the standard kind of mm-hmm. just quiet, like kind of, yeah, Silver Surfer. But right, like in the comics, I, he's I, quiet and lonely. Yeah, know? I want like Surfer dude. Right, Silver Surfer. I love like that. It was so fun seeing that. But I. Kind of doubt it would happen though. Yeah, same. So, but I mean, Henry Cavill could be. I'm speculating cool, Sentry. I, I guess. I'm speculating Sentry. he could be Sentry. I'm like the mystery role. I am speculating it could be Sentry. But would you really even care? Because it's going to be in the Thunderbolts. Oh no, not at all. But that's what I'm speculating. Yeah. He he has the build, as we know. I mean, he plays Superman. He has the build. Yeah. Um, the guy that was that played Mark Invincible, he stepped out. Yeah. So it it would make sense, but I also wouldn't be surprised if that's not happening. But I, I would actually kind of hope that's happening because Thunderbolts is a mess right now. Directing yeah. is a mess. Script is a mess. All these things. Zemo is not even going to be in it, I'm pretty sure. I don't even. They're trying to do like a weird Suicide Squad type of thing. but Yeah. I just, mean, that's what the Thunderbolts are. They're Marvel Suicide Squad. But even then, like. But not not in the way they're trying to do it. Right. Like, in the MC, they're getting like heroes and like anti heroes yep. type of stuff. And it's just really not what it's supposed to be. No. I don't know where they're going with it. But. I don't know either. And adding Sentry? Like, are you serious? Like, he. Is Superman. Yeah, I think that's what they're going for, like, kill the Justice League kind of thing. I, I guess, but it's Sentry. Like, first yeah. of all, him appearing in a Thunderbolts movie for the first time, not even having an end credit scene that would, like, tease him at all, he is way too powerful for, for any MCU character right now, other than, yeah. like, the gods. Like, the actual gods, not, like, Thor and Loki. Yeah. But, like, that I mean, was that's my what you would thought. think. That's what we know. I feel like, yeah, but ev- everyone thought that about the the Kill the Justice League game. Like, there's no way that they're going to be able to, you know, defeat Superman. And I mean, I guess they figured out a way. 
I mean, but that's kryptonite. Kryptonite we know can hurt Superman. And they just found a way to supercharge that. Century is Superman without that weakness. But he's like crazy though. He's like yeah. like mentally like not all there. Yeah, I know. He's like literally two different people. Like this movie's gonna have to be rated R. It's not gonna be. That's the issue. That's what Definitely I mean. not gonna be. That's exactly what I mean. That is the main issue because it's he's just strong. Like he's yeah. strong. And let like let's go through the cast here right now. So we have Red Hulk, right? Per- presumably, presumably, I, maybe, maybe. But we he's have, like eighty, right? We have um, Yelena. <sighs> Right there, Yelena. Um, wasn't Taskmaster part of, like in this one in this cast? Yeah, Taskmaster. Winter Soldier. I think. Yeah, he he'll be cool to see again. I guess. I don't want to see him again. Really? I think Falcon and Winter Soldier ties it up so well. He I don't, made a. He's not done. I just. I he's I he's not done. He's like soldier for life. I wish he was done. Because he he at the end of Winter Soldier, he made his amends, he did all these things, and it wrapped up his character so well, in my opinion, that seeing him again obviously is not gonna ruin it in the slightest. But you know, we've had our fair share of him. We've seen him for many years. We've seen him in Cap One, Cap Two, we've seen him in uh, Civil War, uh Falcon and Winter Soldier, Infinity War, Endgame. Like we he has a lot of appearances. Yeah. But if you had a robot arm, would you be done? No. Exactly. Who else? Who else is in this cast? We have um, uh, Zemo's not going to be in it. The the dad. like Oh, like Red like, Guardian? Yeah. Yeah. These guys are not beating Sentry. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And uh, Ghost. Ghost is, Ghost is going to be in it. But Ghost she's, is pretty cool. She's cool. Wait, didn't she get like healed though or something? Yeah. So maybe, oh, maybe it's going to be the guy. Like from the comics. Like the yeah. actual Iron Man villain, yeah. But regard, but that's but, at but that that's, point, it's like. Well, but, but even then, yeah. the point is they're not beating Sentry. No, like Superman without weakness, and he's crazy. That's that's even worse. That dude has issues. Yeah, like. Oh my gosh, I remember when he got torn up. I do remember when he got torn apart by Noel, though. That was crazy. Yeah. King in Black was a great comic run. It's so good. That's probably that that won't be that's not one of my favorite. That's like not top three, but that's top ten. Maybe top five for Marvel Comics. But nobody in the MCU besides like the Marvel gods, based on what we've seen, is not beating him. They barely they barely beat Thanos. They'll figure out a way, I guess. Just, they always do. I mean, Plot armor, bro. Of course. I mean, they have to find out a way, or like maybe they turn them with the power of friendship. I mean, I mean, it seems like it's that's that's a Marvel thing. Yeah, that's a Marvel thing. It that's an MCU is. thing to do. Unfortunately, and my issue is they. This might be the worst comic representation of a character in the MCU because of the fact that obviously we like Century is known but not known enough. Yeah, and the fact that they're saying don't read the comics. Because they, they, every director admit, like they tell us, don't read the comics. If you need to read the comics Wait, for why? this character, because they want this to be like fresh, or, or, or oh, Feige wants it, it to like, be like spoiled. No, it's because Feige wants it to be like its own thing and fresh. So oh, he tells them, don't read the comics. That is why, mm-hmm. like, that. But you know what I'm saying though, like yeah. he isn't known enough to like where you have basic knowledge. Of him. Yeah. It's just Superman clone, kind of. Just about, yeah. That's how everybody sees him, right? Yeah. And if you're not reading the comics and you're just going to go off whatever, then it it genuinely might be the worst representation of a comic book, comic book character in a MCU movie. I don't... What... I don't think it could be that bad, though. I think it could be that bad. Because... Mm-hmm. The reason, I'm the optimistic one this time. I'm, yeah, you are. Because, I mean, like, the fact that we, that if you're not reading the comics and you have no doubt, basic knowledge on who Sentry is and you're just going off of, like, some information or whatever, you know what he looks like. No, 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 no. I don't know. Uh, I might 
go watch it. I don't at this point it's like I don't even know what they're doing anymore. I don't even know if I care. The MCU's and losing it. To, the MCU has lost its spark. It has. Obviously my boy and I go see a Marvel movie every time it comes out. But it's just not looking good. It's not it, it, it has been looking good. It hasn't. I mean, Guardians 3 was the only very good MCU movie in, like, since what came? What came? Spider-Man. Was it Spider-Man or Shang-Chi that came? Like, was last? Shang-Chi after Spider-Man? That's what I'm wondering. Whatever, whatever was, like, the last, whichever of those two were the last, it hasn't been better since that. Yeah. And Man. there have been okay movies. We have... Ant-Man was okay. Um, the shows, man. The shows. The shows. To be honest, I'm quite fond of the shows. I haven't seen Echo yet, but the only Marvel show that I didn't really like like that was She-Hulk. I didn't like She-Hulk. I didn't like Secret Invasion. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I, I wasn't didn't, crazy I didn't about like that Secret either. Invasion at all. I didn't like it at all. Yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of, eh. Don't really care about Echo. Yeah, I don't care about that either. I'll see I'll see Daredevil when it comes out and I ain't worried about it. Yeah. But even Daredevil, man, I You're not gonna watch it? I'll watch it, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It's not crazy to say that. It is not crazy to say that at this point. Yeah. It's Feige needs to have a conference with these guys. <laughs> they just need to sit down and really think about it because what they're doing because like obviously they're they're not performing like it no. is obvious these shows and these movies are not performing and the fact that for the past year and a half or two the fact that these things have not been performing as well as they used to or could be you need to sit down and rehash everything and just mm -hmm. like reflect because what happened after what happened it's just it just doesn't have structure anymore. No, I think they're just they're just pushing stuff out. That's it. They're just pushing it out, bang after literally like bang, bang, bang. But like, they're not bangs. They're bad. Yeah. Like, Thor, wasted potential for gore. I want to say already. I you say. liked Thor. I no. I said it was a fun watch, not a good movie. I think Thor is so bad that it should not count as canon at all. I had fun watching that movie. But I can say I it was not a good movie. I did Thor, not the God fun. Butcher, he was good. But he didn't do too much. He didn't kill many gods. I was sitting in that chair in the theater about to burst into flames, like, just watching it. It was horrible. I didn't like Wakanda Forever. It was okay. It was mediocre at best, if you want to put it at that. Other than that, yeah. obviously they had to work with what they had, 100%. Like, I'm not saying, like, they're completely at fault. You know, some, like, tragic events happened, obviously, and it threw stuff off. Yeah. But homegirl that was playing Shuri didn't want to get vaccinated, so they had to stop filming for a while or change some stuff. Yeah. It, it was, it, the directing, just the whole, cat like, process was just a mess. It just right. seemed like they were kind of trying to piece apart yeah. nothing. Yeah, exactly. And and we got Ironheart. Ironheart. That suit was horrendous. I do have her Funko it Pop. It looked though. like a Power Ranger. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have her Funko Pop though. The Funko Pop is nice. My sister got me that for my for as a gift. Um, but I don't want I I'm being honest, I don't want to see her again. I don't I don't either. I don't want to watch her show. I don't like Well, hold on. Based on like the logo for the show, it looks like she's end, going to end up getting her red suit from the comics. So, like, like her Iron Man-esque uh, suit. So, if she does that, okay. Because you'll the girl watch, that plays you'll her... you watch a show for a suit? Yes. Because I need to be satisfied. I'm not satisfied. And if I don't see that suit, I will not be satisfied. I just, I just don't care, though. Because it's like, okay... She she had like the the hologram of Tony Stark or whatever. They're definitely not gonna do that. Right. Uh, I saw she's like she's fighting like magic characters or something, mm -hmm. and it's like, like why? Are we talking in the comics or in the is the plot no, of the show? It, the plot of the show. She's oh. fighting like magic characters. 
in a suit that she somehow is smart enough to make. Smart well, as Tony Stark to just, just make it. Well, she's smart. She is very smart. And the casting, she, she's, she's good. She's good, but how are you just smart enough to just make an Iron Man suit? That with like with like upgrade like upgrades off of a an Iron Man suit. I'm not sure. How does how does she just like how is she just in college <laughs> wa- walks into Wakanda and makes an Iron Man suit better than Iron Man? Well, it's not better than Iron Man. Come on. Now. I'm not saying in looks, but like in tech. In tech, Iron Man has nanotechnology. Yeah, that's true. But I'm saying like she not cracking nano. Mm-mm. She, uh, I mean, maybe just because she doesn't have access to it. Let's, maybe she gets access to nanotech. You think she can't make another Iron Man suit that's like better than the nanotech Iron Man suit? I hope not. Like, I mean, you saw what she did. She was literally out of scraps. Like they gave her <laughs> scraps in Wakanda, and she just made that. That's it. listen, bro. That's how it started with Iron Man. He started with scraps. She's not Iron Man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I just feel like Iron Heart's gonna be okay. Just okay. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, that's kind of our first topic, trailing off a little bit. Yeah. But this is Marvel edition, so I mean we're just talking all things Marvel today. So yeah, Fantastic Four. It'll be cool. It'll be it'll be cool. I have to see it to believe it. A hundred percent. That trailer better be heat. But uh, yeah, so let's move on to our second topic. We have Madam Web. Excited to talk about that. I haven't I feel, even seen it, but I I'm feel like this is gonna be a long one too. It might be. We have so, like twenty minutes, so we'll we'll try to make this ten. It uh, I really, I really want to see it. I really want to see it. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I really, I really don't. I really want to see it. I want to see how bad it is. I'm hearing that it is the worst movie of all time ever created ever in any ever time. created is a stretch. Comic book movie? No, that might not be a stretch. The it has the worst audience score of a comic book movie. It's worse than Michael B. Jordan's Fantastic Four. Yeah. The I've heard some of the one-liners, some that are about a web of lies, it, and like they're just quips, like or like they're bad quip and one-liners, and. Like some people are putting the blame on the female actors, but that's not. But it's not them. It's no. just the writing. It's just the whole concept in general just wasn't even needed. It it wasn't. It it wasn't. But we the thing is we do. If we do get Madam Web, then that helps a lot, and because she she connects all the Spider people. Yeah. But. The movie was so hilariously bad. Like, first of all, I don't even know who these who the other people are. Like Cindy Sweeney's character, I don't know who who the other ones. I don't know any of these characters you, besides Madam White. Do you care if it gets like spoiled for you? Because I've seen like some spoilers. Really? Yeah. We'll talk after. Do you do you care? We'll talk after. Okay. It's but um, just the way they set up the movie is not what they advertise it to be, and. It is, I'll be honest, it's a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, 100%. I, I've seen some of the, like, like one of the fights in, like, the bar or, like, the diner or whatever. It looks like she's on a line. Like, when she gets pushed back, like, what else? I When I first saw the trailer, it looked fan-made. Yeah. The trailer looked so hilariously fan-made. That is the only thing I could think when I saw that. My boy Sam wanted to see it. He thought that it wasn't going to be that bad and people might just be tripping. Until he saw the reviews. No. I knew off rip. I said, listen, because usually him and I, we take turns to pay for each other for the movies. Mm-hmm. I said, this is going to be your turn because I'm not paying to see this movie. And then when he saw the reviews, he was like, we'll wait until it comes out on a, on a streaming service. Yeah, that's going to be pretty fast. Cause it has to be. I think they were supposed, they, they had to make a uh, hundred million or something to break even. Mm-hmm. They made six. Yeah. <laughs> that... That's so bad. That is astronomically <laughs> disappointing. Like, that is horrible. Like, I don't know any other movie of a big name, such as Sony, 
to get something lower than a hundred. Lower. Yeah. That is so bad. I mean, they at that point they're like paying for it like out of pocket. Yeah, they need to stop making Mar- superhero movies. I'm not gonna lie. Morbius was bad. Yeah. Madam Web is bad. Craven's gonna be bad. I all, hated all, Venom too. All these these Spider Man movies without Spider Man is just is not working. No, it's not. Uh, I I did not like Venom two at all. Craven the Hunter, it doesn't look good. It They're doesn't. trying to do the the wrestler guy, or whatever. Oh yeah, that's gonna be horrible. Doesn't he play like, by like Bad Bunny or something? Yes, that's gonna be bad. Why? And there was one other Spider Man villain movie that was coming. That is gonna be bad. I don't remember what it is, but what I can say is they need to stop. Like, I don't want to say that. They have to. Yeah, I, they have to. I mean, like, I don't want to say these things, but they have to stop. I don't understand how they can make the Spider-Man games and then make those movies. <laughs> right? Like, the Spider-Man game is a better it's, movie it's than so those he, movies. Yeah. Like, they're fire. How? How does that even work? How do they mess up that bad? I don't know. I don't know. It. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. They really, they are so stubborn, but they really just got to give Spider-Man back to Marvel. Please, bro. They're really ruining it. Like, just, just, just let it go. Make the games. Mm-hmm. These are waste of movies. Like, we could have better movies than this. And they made the, the, the Spider-Verse movie. <laughs> right. Where, right. What are you doing? Where's the time? How, how do you make the Spider-Verse movies and the Spider-Verse and the Spider-Man games? Like, the best Spider-Man content, like, to yes. ever come out, basically. And then make the worst Spider-Man content to ever come out. It's, it's aggravating. It's aggravating. These, the, Madam Web does no justice to her character. I don't know who these other characters are. I've heard that too much. M- Madam Web as a character is really just, She's like, important. Like, a, like a quest giver. She NPC. Is. Yes. Why does she have a movie? It's if she has a movie, it would tie into bringing whoever into the animated universe and bringing whoever the animated universe to the to the Marvel slash Sony universe. Do we? She really was need the tie that? in. My, if we're, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Miles Morales. If they want to do a Marvel, just like bring him into Marvel or like the MCU. He's already in the MCU. Cause it, like his his uncle his said uncle his name. Yeah. Said his name. He's already there. That's true. But I don't know, bro. It's she's really not needed. Like you can have a a ten minute scene with her somewhere. Yeah. But a movie with a bunch of spider people that no one really knows at all or cares about that don't really even exist. I don't even know who the villain is. Just some dude. Just some yeah, literally just some dude. That's bad. Yeah. But anyways, anyways, we just wanted to give our little thoughts on that. Yeah. Well, we're going to... We still haven't see seen it. it. We're, we're hating on it. Yeah, we're okay. going to see it, though. Maybe it's really good and people are just lying to us. I would believe that if it was mixed reviews. <laughs> These well, are not mixed reviews. Maybe the whole world is lying specifically to us. Maybe. And maybe. it's really, really good and they just don't want us to watch it. Maybe. Well, let's we'll, we'll check it out. I'm gonna. I'm excited to get a good laugh, you know. And I haven't seen a, co- right. a comedic movie. I heard it wasn't laughably bad. It was just like, like pain in the oh. seat, like watching it. Maybe I will pay money to see it then. But yeah, that's kind of just our thoughts. Kind of move on to the third topic. We got like five minutes to do this. Um, X Men. I know you don't have. You, you haven't seen the old X Men show. Nah. So I mean, it's okay if it's like a little five minute topic. But listen, X Men. The 97 trailer came out, and I love how they're doing it because I watched the show on Netflix multiple times when it when it came out. Multiple times? Multiple times. That is my favorite piece of X-Men content. No game, no other movie, no other I mean, show. Yeah. That is my favorite piece of X-Men content because this represents the X-Men better than any movie or game has ever. Yeah. Or other show, and because usually I don't really care for the X Men at all. Like I don't care about Me the either. movies. I don't care about the games. I'm gonna play the Wolverine game. 100%. Me too. But 
I don't care. But I care about this. And when I saw that trailer, it looked so good because they're trying. They didn't completely modernize the animation. They like they yeah. still kind of have like the like stiffness a little bit, and but with the modern like still twist to it because there was like impact. There were do you know what impact frames are? Yeah, there were impact frames with Storm. Yeah, like that's nice. And then like the animation when like Gambit like hopped on Wolverine's shoulder when they were running. They like he Gambit empowered his claws. Yeah, and Gambit is so downplayed. A bomb. Yes, and Gambit is so downplayed in stuff. But I do know he is one of the strongest X-Men members because of the stuff he can do. Yeah. So, like, he's not getting downplayed. And it's it's so cool. I'm so excited. Finally, they're showing a great representation of Cyclops being the leader yeah. of the X-Men. Um, people are tripping about Wolverine's voice. But I'm like, it's obviously not going to be the same guy. Yeah. I mean, like, dudes, either he's like probably retired. I mean, we're talking 20 something years ago. Yeah. But like, dude's old. He's not going to have that same voice. You know what I mean? It's just it's so cool. Um, We're going to see Jean. Uh, I think Jean Grey is pregnant. So maybe we get to see her, her son, right? She has a son, right? I don't know. A son or something. And. It just, it looks good. What do you think? What do you think? I know you haven't seen the original show. I haven't seen the original show, but the trailer makes it look really good. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I like, I don't often care about the X-Men. Like, the movies are, like, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I've read a lot of the comics, and I really like the characters mm -hmm. and, like, the idea of the X-Men. I just, all the X-Men media is, it doesn't compare right to, like the comics or anything right so i really i really want to see this show i yeah. think it looks really good like the animation yeah looks really it looks good. so good like they mentioned the hellfire gala really yeah, and like it, there's like a shot in like a uh in a magazine or something that like dr name drops the hellfire gala i don't really know what it is completely do you know what it is yeah it's an excuse to give the all the characters cool suits okay i think okay yeah but yeah i think it's gonna be really good like i haven't seen like any animation like that before like it looks yeah. like i know a lot of people were saying like the spider-verse stuff was like taking comics like mm -hmm. like off the page and into a movie mm -hmm. but the x-men like the new show really looks like a comic yeah. And it really looks good. Yeah, it does. I'm yeah. so excited for that because it's a continuation of the old, of the old show. Like, it yeah. continues. It takes place right after Xavier died. Mm. So it's they're kind of just dealing with it and grappling with, like, Xavier's dead. This guy helped us do all of our stuff. He took care of us. He sheltered us, all these things. And they're just dealing with that while Magneto is now the head of the school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to how that's gonna go. Yeah, I know. Like, how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna handle that? You know. Yeah. And oh man, this the anime. First of all, I lost it when I saw Impact Frames. Like, lost it because Impact Frames, first of all, is great animation, and it they put a lot of work in Impact Frames, like in One Piece. Impact frames are used a lot kind of now, or they were used. And there's a lot of work that goes into them because of the things that are shown between each frame. Yeah. So we're going to get some really good animation. Yeah. I'm just hoping it's not like the really short, like six episode oh, kind of thing. Hope not, bro. Give us. That would be so 20. annoying. But like, I hope they give like full length. Yes, like seasons. how like they used to do with shows, but now every show is like twelve to sixteen episodes a season because they're realizing that attention span isn't at what it used to be. Yeah, it's give us what we felt like the things we wanted back then, early two thousands, nineties, eighties. These shows were doing twenty plus episodes a season. Yeah, I need that back for this. I hope the the animation doesn't limit them though. Oh, I hope not either. Cause, but they have a they have a lot. They they basically have an unlimited budget. It's yeah. it's 
I'm just saying like the time it takes. Yeah, but you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Like, trust if if anime can do it, they can do it. Well, they could because like that's the whole thing. Like they animate every weekend, like every an episode every weekend, every week. And some of these play, some of these studios don't have a big budget as MCU, and they don't have a big as big of a team. But their team is being like, like, like doing like hard labor though. <laughs> like they're like, not all of them, just some. Because I heard like a lot of their animators and everything were like underpaid overworked oh yeah. oh yeah they were but that's not all the studios like a1 studios that's making this anime that i'm i read like the webtoon no for. i'm saying like like mcu specific oh mcu oh oh yeah, yeah yeah true right eh well to be honest but i mean yeah i'm hype i'm hype yeah me too but yeah that's kind of just like our thoughts on x-men as you can tell we're both very excited i'm very excited yeah i'm really hyped. so that's our six Six. That's our sixth episode. Uh, we hope to catch you next week uh, for our seventh episode. I'm not sure what we'll be talking about, but we'll figure it out, and you'll have to wait and see. Uh, we hope you all have a great duration of your day. We'll see you later, Nova. Bye.